My name is Clifton Crawford. I go by CJ. Um, well, growing up, I was raised in a um, uh, single family home with mom and dad, a uh, couple brothers. My mom was the only believing Christian. Um, overall, my extended family, we did have the Christian nature um, surrounding us. Not to say everyone was Christian, but we held to that biblical um, overall umbrella. But um, I definitely knew John 316. Um, but other than that, I didn't have any in-depth knowledge of the gospel. I do believe God was working in my life because although I could have sinned in ways that's indescribable, for some reason, I just had some sort of, you know, um, composure. The summer of 2007, I made my way to Phoenix. When I first got to Phoenix, you know, I was around a home, but I was, I was in an environment that was completely foreign to me. Um, growing up in Florida, I grew up in the country, you know, very few roads, uh, very few stores, restaurants and such, into a huge city with everything around you and being filled with all sorts of stuff, everything, alcohol, party, um, gambling, you name it. A couple years later, you can say, um, I began to be more independent on my own. Yeah, I still live a, you know, a sinful lifestyle. Uh, but during this time, I was still in college. Um, yeah, I still had some sort of composure in a humanistic sense in terms of, you know, still having some, um, um, some order in my life. I started to really think about my future in terms of what I, what I wanted to do in college and what job I wanted to have. But in the meantime, um, the girl that I was dating, um, she ended up getting pregnant. And then once my son was born, that's when I was able to like really, really like uh, think about my life and think about his life and and what I wanted to do. Prior to this, I wasn't going to church. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't praying. I wasn't listening to any sermons or meeting with a pastor. So prior to that, I um, I just had this, this uh, conviction. It redirected my mind and my, and my understanding of just life. It went more towards, a, it was a spiritual conviction rather than a you know, like a, a, a humanistic uh, conviction. At the time I was living with my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend at the time in Phoenix. Um, but during this conviction, I started to really ponder on, you know, the sin in my life. And it, begins to, it, it began to bother me greatly. I remember I used to go home and my girlfriend was there. And I remember going to her and asking, hey, you know what, <laughs> let's just get married. And she at the time she wasn't ready so eventually we end up breaking up and that and that guilt that that guilt alone you know um relieved me of you know just that of, of that sin in my life and during that time i was starting to listen to a lot of sermons so god was filling my heart with a lot of you know messages of, you know the gospel after listening to all these um, sermons and reading the bible uh, i was definitely reading the bible um, I, I, you know, I, that's when I truly, truly understood the gospel. So I, re I remember uh, confessing my sin, you know, asking God to forgive me for all my sins and teach me how to live a, you know, a more righteous life. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ uh, alone, apart from works, apart from the deeds of the law, God will justify you. And then including in salvation, including that justification is repentance. So God will give you a heart of repentance. The way I could tell God has changed me uh, for the past few years, uh, uh, since 2014, it's just that conviction that I have, even over the smallest sin or the smallest sins that we think that are small. Um, I know God has um, has been working, has, con has been working in my life and continue to work in my life uh, because of that, because of the conviction and that that hunger and thirst for righteousness, I do believe that God is calling me to be a, a teacher. I will definitely love to teach the Bible, um, which it includes apologetics, you know, on the side. Uh, like Peter said, we always have to be um, be ready to give a defense for the hope that is in us. So um, 
I definitely would love to continue to uh, what well, to teach. I, I teach a little bit on Facebook um, and continue to do outside ministry witnessing. I'm Clifton Crawford, and that's my story of grace.